Tommy. Eat your breakfast. Hi, Timmy. I'm Sister Jackson. I would like to talk to you about what happened to your mother. Would that be okay? Sure. What happened to your mother that day? I'm not sure what you're talking about. What do you mean? Your mother was found in bed, covered in blood. You were found sitting at the dinner table, covered in blood, with a hammer covered in blood. I don't remember anything. I was eating breakfast and trying, and then my mother started teasing me about my stuttering. She made fun of the picture I was drawing, and she called me a freak. My mother is a bully. So you were mad at your mother for bullying you? I don't know. I don't remember anything after she yelled at me. Timmy, do you think it's possible that you killed your mother? You said you were angry. No, sister. You said I was angry. I said my mother is a b bully and she's mean. I never said I was angry. So you weren't angry? I'm used to being bullied. The kids at school bully me all the time. When you stutter, kids can be mean, I guess. Does that make you angry when the kids tease you? No. Because I know they'll be punished for being bullies one day. Timmy, do you understand that you will have to stay here at this institution for a very long time? I guess so. But who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and get out one day soon. What was the picture you were drawing? I really don't remember. 
It looked like a lady with red hair, a monster with red hair. Is that how you felt about your mother? I don't know. Was that hot chocolate you're drinking? No, it's tea. But I could find you some hot chocolate, if you like. Yes, I would like some. Thank you. Timmy, you are still taking your meds, right? Yes, I'm taking my meds. Thank you. You're welcome. This is really good. Hmm. good. My mom always drank hot tea. Hmm. Sister Jackson? Yes, I just feel a little, a little dizzy. Hmm. I bet it's your tea. Timmy, what did you do? Good example for our okay, kids. Okay, okay. And kids, I mean, your dad has been in a very bad place for a very long time, and he's been serving our country. So our neighbors and our friends are just here to show their respect. It is pretty cool that we have such good neighbors, and it's cool that we live in the safest city in the South. That's true. Oh, I think this is that girl. weren't she in the army with you? I think she was. Yeah. Hey. Welcome home, soldier. Hey, it's good to be back. Hey, we thought it'd be nice to give you a proper welcome home. Well, we really appreciate it. It's good to see y'all. Thank you, guys. Woohoo! Yeah. Welcome, welcome home! home. Woo! I can't believe it. 
believe all these people came out. Yeah. That's so nice. Oh, guys, there's Bobby. I think she made a cake. Ooh, I hope so. Those things are so good. And I have not had anything good in a long time. Yeah. You haven't had the cleaner cakes in so long. In so long. And they're so good. Awesome. So many people are here. This is crazy. Thank you. Welcome home, David. I made this special for well, you. I can't wait to dive into it. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. You guys are special to me, too. I appreciate it so much. Well, are you going to come have some? Well, I would, but I have to go and bake a cake for a birthday party, so we'll catch up later. Okay, you're so busy with that. All right. Thank Love you. Thank, Thank you. you. Kids, ready to go in? Let's go. Yeah. Thank you all so much. Who wants cake? Me. Okay. We're gonna have to hurry though because we're gonna get ready for bed, okay? Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's okay. I'll just do it. Okay. That's fine. You can have two cakes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. I love Bobby's cake. There you go. I don't want too big of a piece. All right. There you go. Alright, we're well, we gonna hurry up and eat this cake because it's too long before y'all gotta get to bed. I'd rather just stay here and eat cake. It's the time of the day I enjoy the most. Yeah, that's because my big brother's a baby. Here I am. Don't tease him. He's just having a hard time with nightmares. Really? What's that about, David? Nothing. I don't want to talk about it. Especially right before bed. It sounds like you may be having some nightmares like I had. Hmm. Is your sleep paralysis? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, we've been dealing with my sleep paralysis for years, okay? And when Dad's here, it's a lot better, but I just turn a light on all the time. I say a prayer, you know? For me, it's very much light and dark, demons and God. So, I mean, next time, just turn your light on. Okay. And Dad's not going to let anything happen to you. Look, I'm going to come up and talk to you a little bit before you get in bed, all right? And look, I'm here now, so whatever's here has to go through who first? Yeah. That's right. I'll tell you a little story about Iraq. I think that's going to help you, okay? Okay. Yes. Well, I think Kelly Ann wants another piece. <laughs> but you can't because you got to go, go, go. Right. Go to bed, okay? We'll be up and give you a kiss in a little bit. We'll go. We'll check you in. Reading a book? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's getting late. Okay. Okay. You good? Mm -hmm. All right. Good night. Bye, Mom. Love you. Hey, bud. Hey, so like I said, I want to talk to you real quick before you went to bed, huh? You know, when I was in Iraq, I went through some pretty, pretty crazy situations. But you know, I always told myself I was going to get out of any situation that I was in. So I, what I did was said a little prayer and good prevailed. So I think if you kind of get your mind right, say a little prayer, turn out light on like your mom, you probably won't have these dreams like you've been having. So just try that. Dad, I guess it's worth a try. You know what I'm most afraid of, right? Let me guess, something in that closet or under this bed. Yes. Well, look. Aren't most kids afraid of that? I think you quit having these dreams if you just get your mind right before you go to bed, read one of those books, turn that light on, I think you'll be good to go, all right? All right, we'll look at it. See you in the morning. Good night, Dad. Hi, buddy. Kellyanne, are you okay? Ah! It's just a dream. It's just a dream. 
Please God, don't let it be real. told you to do turn the light on last night yes dad and the dreams kept coming first in my closet then in the mirror and then under my bed and there was two girls who looked like demons or zombies and it felt so real and this horrible laughter i thought it was kelly ann trying to scare me <laughs> nope i was sleeping dreaming that i was in a candy store eating all my favorite candies <laughs> let me guess did you read your favorite book Willie Wonka in the Chocolate Factory? Yeah. Always. Well, oh, brother. Well, I read a happy book and had dreams of not one but two dead girls. Mm. Well, look, don't worry. Amy's mom told me about a new therapist in town. So, I want to make you an appointment Monday. Okay? Okay, if you say so. Well, I mean, he's really good at what he does, and it sounds like you really, it's about time to go talk to somebody. I'm good with that. But hey, look, Buddy, you need to go upstairs. Grandma's coming to get you soon. Cause Mom and I have game left and left with the gang, right? Y'all don't want to get ready. Yeah, we're going to Grandma's house. <laughs> yeah. I'm you gonna, gonna make ask cookies. If we can bake cookies. Yep, as always. Yep. All right, well, y'all going? Yes, I'm gonna spend the whole weekend playing your video games. Well, not the bad ones. Yep. All right. Okay, can you help them? And I'm gonna clean up, and I've got so much to do before game night. Are you going to make a phone call yep. to Townsend? Yes, it's about time. All right, when you get through that, you want you to go upstairs. You're so bad. Yeah. Okay, well. all right. Great to have you back home, David. It's good to be back, man. I appreciate it. It is great to have him back. So how's everybody doing? Well, other than having a hormonal middle schooler, life's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get you on that. I don't know what's going on with Dave. I don't know if it's hormones or what, but evidently he's having some crazy nightmares. That's what Kelly was telling me about it. Every single night, having nightmares. I don't know what's going on. Really? Hmm. What are they about? I know Amy, she gets scared when she watches monster movies, when they have those horrible disfigured faces. I know evidently he's seeing some dead girls or something under his bed and in his closet. I don't know, and evidently one of them looks like Kelly Ann. Oh no. Must be traumatizing for a kid. Is he staying up late watching scary movies? No, I mean, we don't really encourage that. I've always had bad nightmares. Mm -hmm. So like I told him, I said, you know, for me, it's very much uh, light and dark. And it's, it's like demons versus God for me. So I just tell him, say a prayer and turn the light on. Mm -hmm. So that's really what we're trying to do right now. That's exactly what I told him to do. I told him last night, I said, hey, Turn on your light, say a little prayer like your mom, good will prevail. We're still having the same issue. I don't know what's going on. Johnny's afraid of dolls. He told me once he even had a dream about his mother, and she was this horrible doll with cuts all over her. You see? Yeah, very weird. <laughs> yeah. I knew that Johnny was definitely afraid of dolls. I had no idea that he was dreaming that I was one of them. <laughs> That's so weird. You didn't? No. I figured he would have told you too. Not a word. Yeah, it's weird. Mm -hmm. For little Joe, it's all fire. He, he's terrified of being burned or one of us burning to death. Well, I think I'm going to make Dave an appointment with um, some new therapist in town. Weren't you talking about him? Um, I think it was Dr. Townsend. I saw an app in the paper the other day. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to call Monday and get an appointment for Davey. 
I mean, this has been going on too long. And Maybe we should just do group sessions. The kids have been friends for years and I think they'll be more comfortable with it too. Yeah. Would that, would that work? Sound good with everybody? Yeah. I say it's worth a shot. Let's get them in. Yeah, let's do that. We'll, we'll bring Johnny in for a group session too. Susan, do you think uh, Amy can catch a ride with you? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not like I live that far. Just a couple of doors. Oh, thanks, Hunter. I really appreciate it. You know, it's just been long ago with the surgery, and I've just got so much to catch up on. Uh, oh, you know you do the same for me. Okay. So I will call and then um, do the schedule, and I'll let you guys know what time and everything. Okay. But we'll do it on Monday. Will that work? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, good. that's good. Cool. All right, great. Hey, I'm Kelly Smith. I made the appointment for my son, Davey. Oh yes, we've been expecting you. <laughs> well, um, so you're one of the children that's been having the bad nightmares, correct? Yeah. Okay. And uh, we made a group session too. Oh, we love groups. <laughs> uh, don't worry, we'll take very good care of Davey. The sessions usually last about an hour, and then we'll take the children across the street to the park, and you can pick them up there. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, oh, and this is our intern, Lake. Hey. Hi. Hi. Uh, I just have some paperwork for you to fill out, okay. and then I'll take Davey here to see Mr. Townsend, so um, I'll be able to keep the kids uh, company for a little while. Okay. Here's the um, paperwork. That sounds good. Okay. All right. Are you okay with all that? Okay, well, good then. All right. It'll be fine. Love you. Bye. You can follow me. Bye. 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 Well, who's going to be my first victim? <laughs> well, these two need to go. They seem to have issues with lighting fires. Well, come on now. Sally, would you tell the group what you're afraid of? I'm afraid of burning up in a fire. <laughs> Anyone else? I'm really scared of monsters with messed up faces. It's scary dolls for me, and sometimes I see my mom as a doll. That's serious, Johnny. Well, I'm pretty confident that I should be able to help you with some of the techniques that I use. Little Joe? Well, I'm afraid of the burning thing. Davey? I sometimes see dead girls in my bed. We should be able to help you with this. It should not be a problem at all. Mr. Townsend, are the kids ready for their snacks? Do you have any idea what's in that juice? Of course, Lakin. It's grape juice. It doesn't smell like grape juice. In fact, it seems like <laughs> that their behavior is getting worse with whatever you're serving them. I mean, just even Alex. He freaking burned the house down that had his parents in it. My dear, I would keep that information to yourself. You know what happens to people who talk crazy around here, don't you? Well, you are more than welcome to serve them that juice, but I'm not serving them that anymore. Very well then. We can make all your fears go away.
Who wants juice and cookies? Do you want to get rid of that disfigured woman from your dreams? Yes, Mr. Thompson. Then you have to stab her, stab her to death. Okay, Mr. Thompson, I will. Little Joe, do you know what to do to the burning man? Yes, Mr. Thompson. You have to kill him, do you understand? Yes. Sally, we've done this before. You know what to do with the evil monster that you see in your Aunt Mel has. Yes, Mr. Townsend. I've played the game before. I know what to do. We'll make you proud. That will be good. You guys take care of the issue. Yes, Mr. Townsend. Johnny, do you want to get rid of that evil doll from your dreams? Yes, I do. You said your fear. Is seeing your mom as a doll. And hey, will you bring me my water bottle? You will walk inside the house. Use a bottle of poison that I will give you. You will put it in your mom's drink. sit down and play cards or checkers. And watch her die from the inside out. <laughs> Davy. You see your sister as the dead girl in your dreams, correct? Yes. All right, here's what I need you to do. I need you to go into her room when she's asleep. Get on the bed and put a pillow over her head. Take your father's pistol and shoot the dead girl. That's the only way to get rid of her. Hey, Mr. Townsend. This is so bizarre. I've never had a therapist say Look, they're going to meet us at a park. I know, right? I mean, it I don't know. I, yeah, have there been any kids over here? Like, have with, you checked with, the office? No, not yet. Well, of course, yeah, actually, I did call and check the office. Our kids yeah. are supposed to have been dropped off here by the therapist across yeah. the street, like, hours ago. Is yeah. there his secretary or this really big guy? You wouldn't miss him. He's oh, like guys, six, seven. Big old beard. Yeah. Until the children have been missing for 24 hours, what? OK? What? 24 hours. Hey, 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 excuse me, excuse me, I know that, I have children myself. Monster must die. Hey, honey, are you okay? Listen, I'll call the sheriff, he'll know what to do. We'll go from there, He'll. he's very good. At Just be calm. Finally, somebody's gonna do something. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I promise I'll yeah, take care Yeah, how about you go call the sheriff? I'll do it, I'll do it right now, I'll do it right now. I mean, she asked for our number and... All right, be calm, we'll be right back. Who, who even... Monster must die. What are you talking about, sweetie? No. Right, what are we going to do here? I just talked to the sheriff. He is making some phone calls and he's on his way over. He's very good. good. So don't panic, all right? Okay. Thank you so okay. much. So okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> well, here, here, look. Here's the police right here. Yes. Thank goodness. Detective Taylor, Detective Moore. Okay, so I'm told your children are missing from a therapy session. Is that right? Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, why were they in a group session? 
Well, my son was having problems with nightmares, and so I decided to do a group session for everybody. Um, all, all of these parents are having, their kids are having problems too with nightmares, so this guy's a specialist. What? That doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about, a little girl? What's the address? 105 Bayberry? Some of these parents live over in that neighborhood. Down. So why are, why are you at the park? Well, the secretary said that she would bring the kids over and drop them off here. At this spot in the yes. park? Yes. Okay. Uh, did she say a time or? The, what, like 45 well, she minutes? She had your cell sessions? phone number, I thought. Yeah, yeah. She took my cell phone, but okay. I haven't heard from her. You haven't heard from her, no. okay. Did she give you her cell phone? No. No? We've been waiting for, and been all over the park. Been all over the park. Yeah, 105 Burn them, let's die. Hey, Joe, come watch the game with me, buddy. Burn them, let's die. What are you saying? This Burn is a good game. Burn them, let's die. Burn them, let's die. I've never seen anything like this since I've worked in Happy Valley. I don't even remember seeing a murder in Happy Valley. I'm, I'm gonna call the team over here to get this mess straightened out. I got a call from dispatch on. Dispatch, go ahead. What? Is it? No. Another two murders in Happy Valley on the same day? Look. Go ahead and dispatch a corner over here to this first address. Well, head over and go check the second one out. All right. Dispatch has got a call. Dead male, gunshot wound. Same neighborhood right around the corner. This is crazy. Yeah. Look, I don't know if we got a crazy person running around or what. But this needs to stop, and it needs to stop now. I need y'all to call everybody you can in here. We need to start getting some help and start knocking on some doors to see if we can get some answers. All right. All right. Copy that. Let's go. Been doing my life's work to the bone, dragging this show. Stand back. Stand back. 
We don't have any information right now, but as soon as we do, we'll, we'll let everyone know. What happened? Where's Phil? We have our investigator checking on all the information inside right now. We'll let everyone know as soon as we all find out. This is crazy. Don't they have a son? I mean, are we even safe? Listen, we have everyone checking on it inside, and I need you guys to just go back to your homes. Gonzalez. What have we got here? Looks like she was poisoned. How? She had some white foam coming out of her mouth. We won't know until the labs come back. Looks like it could be that she was drinking something with chemicals in it. Hmm. Do we know how long she's been dead? Time frame, anything? Sherry, how long she's been dead? It would appear that she's been dead about two hours. Two? Okay. Well, I'll let you guys get on it. I'm gonna go talk to the neighbors and call the boss, okay? Copy that. Hi, I'm Deputy Chef Brody. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, All right. Susan's boyfriend. I am Missy, I'm Susan's neighbor. I can't believe this. What do you think happened? Well, we're unsure right now, but until we run our tests, everything's looking towards poisoning. Really, that's nuts. Things like this never happens here. I, gosh, I can't believe the last murder that even happen in our community. It's a bit bizarre. So have you all seen or hear, heard anyone come and go or anything like that? No, not even her son, Johnny. Look, everybody loves Susan. Are there any leads of who could have done this? Not at the moment, sir. But if you guys do hear or remember anything, I'm going to give you my card. Please call me. OK? Yeah. Well, to you. All right, thank you. Um, officer? Yeah. Um, are we safe? Of course you're safe. Just lock your doors, okay? We won't let anything like this happen again. Now remember, call me if you need anything or if you hear of anything. All right. Um, oh, one more thing. I don't know if this means anything, but I remember Susan telling me that she was really concerned about her son, Johnny having a real problem of being afraid of old dolls. What does that have to do with anything? Well, she said she was taking him to see some new therapist in town. Uh, name started with a T. She said he was telling Susan that when he looks at her, he sometimes sees her as a doll from the movies. Really? Yeah. And I thought it was just so strange. Uh, that is a bit weird, but good information. I'm going to follow up with that therapist later. Thank you, guys. I appreciate your time, okay? I'm Detective Taylor. It's Detective Moore. We are looking for these missing children. Have you seen them? Well, I babysit for Davey, but I haven't seen him since I sat for him like a week ago okay. when his mom and dad went out. Okay. Yeah, I uh, delivered him pizza last night. Like everything seemed fine. Why? What happened? Yeah, something wrong. The Smiths are like family to me. Well, they went to a therapy session, and now all the children are missing. Yeah, I knew that Davey was having bad nightmares and going to see a therapist, um, some Townsend guy. Mm. Mrs. Kelly said that he was new in town and some kind of expert with kids. Um, she did say that some people said he was strange, but still a good therapist. Okay. Thank you, guys. Look, and if you hear or see anything, 
call us immediately. Okay? Look, yes, sir. Keep your doors locked just to be on the safe side. Okay. Will do. Okay. Thank you. There's Davy. Let's get him. Davy, come with me. Excuse me, sir. Did you and her live here in the park? Yeah, but we don't want any trouble. We leave. We know some other people that sleep out here, so we thought it would be okay. No, it, it's okay. We're not here to arrest you. We just need to ask you a couple of questions about some kids that are missing. What, do you know anything? Not much. What do you mean, not much? Have you seen anything? Have you all seen these children? We see children out here all the time. Please, look at the photo again. Oh. We're trying to find these kids. Please help us. Yeah, we've seen we've seen those kids. Where? They were getting out of a truck. Um, it was an SUV or a Jeep. There was a woman with them. I think she had on glasses. And there was a great big man. Great big man, right? Yeah, I think that's right. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. We're going. Look, thank you for your help, okay? Uh, Y'all have a good day. Got it. Yeah, you might want to be notified this place of information the SUV, radio glasses, big mail, and start getting the units up there. All right, got it. Let's go. Yep. Thanks. Yeah, that sounds a lot like Towns and this new guy. And the secretary, I definitely. Excuse me, sir. Mind taking a look at this picture? We're looking for some missing kids. No, I haven't seen them. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Take a look again. Yeah, I'm sure. I haven't seen these kids. All right. Thank you. Every door we knock on, Every witness we interview, same name keeps bouncing back. This new guy, this Townsend. Yeah. So I definitely think we have enough to bring him in and ask him a few questions. Okay. Yeah, and these uh, this homeless couple that we saw in the park. Yeah. They were saying that they saw the kids get into some sort of truck, and the lady that they were with, she definitely met the description of Dr. Townsend's receptionist. Good. Good. Yeah, so I think well, let's go see Judge Moore then. Let's see what we can get. Y'all want to do that? Yeah. Where's he at right now? Well, the secretary says he's at his normal lunchtime hangout, you know, so. Okay, well, he should be right down the street. Yep. So we'll catch up with him.
Judge Moore. How you doing, sir? Sheriff? How you doing, Judge? Detectives? Judge Moore. Detective Taylor. What can I do for you this fine Sunday afternoon? Sir, if we have a few minutes of your time, we need to talk about getting a warrant. Detectives here got some information they want to share with you. What do you have? You are aware that there are children missing in our community, right? Of course, of course. That's tragic. And we saw this uh, homeless couple in the park, and they said they saw those kids getting into some sort of truck, and the lady they were with definitely met the description of Dr. Townsend's receptionist. We really need that warrant for his office. Sarah, it's got a probable cause right all over. We're getting witnesses coming forward. Yep. All the incidences we've got going on. We really need that warrant to finish checking this out. Well, it does have probable cause written on it, Sheriff. Yes, sir. But, okay, I'll give you your warrant, but only for his Townsend's office. I cannot have you going all over his private property okay. accusing him until we have further proof. Is yes, that clear, sir. Sheriff? Yes, sir, it is. We'll take care of it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, Judge. It's Be always careful. a pleasure. Be careful out there now. Yes, sir. And keep me abreast of any new developments. Oh, we will. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll do. Thank you. Thank you. Got it. Let's do it. Let's see what we can find. This is Judge Moore. I need a search warrant. The sheriff and uh, two detectives be down there. They're going to search Townsend's office, but only his office. I'll sign it when I get back. Alrighty, thank you. All right, bye. I would freak out if people came in my house like that. I'll protect you. I know, you can fight anybody else. Okay, the food will be here in five. Looks like Jim's in route. Good, I'm starving. Gotta keep these muscles fed. Oh, brother. No daddy, you mean? Are y'all seeing this movie? Okay, don't you think that guy would play a really good werewolf? I can see it. I can yeah. see it. I think it's his beard. That is. It's cut kind of cool. Yeah. Just don't see how his horns are sticking out of his head. That's some good special effects makeup. Sorry, we're just watching a horror movie and you're not scared us to death. <laughs> you can never be too careful. There are a lot of evil people out here. Um, you can keep the change. Well, he was strange. Just the way he looked at me, gave me the creeps. How did he look at you? It was really intense. Like, I don't think he blinked once. Good thing you got that big man there to protect you. Yeah, I know. What if I'm an independent woman? I can protect myself. Well, I don't know about that, but we're about to go outside and take this food and have some long time. Mm. Have fun. Kids are? My, my dad has gone downstairs. It's one of the rooms. Like, go!
Didn't your mommy ever tell you to not run through the house? Right. You think it hurt. <laughs> cry even more. Goodbye, rat. <laughs> we wouldn't know what you told the police. Nothing, I swear. Wire. We saw the cops outside. Yeah, rat. And just like her. Rats must die. did a great job. You know what's coming. Yes, Mr. Go. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put the water down! 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 Why don't you make us? We have no problem taking you kids out. It's the last chance. Put your weapons down or we will open fire. That's enough of this, Townsend. Do you know what my biggest fear is? What, Townsend? Bullies. You know what all these kids have in common? What? That they came to you for help? But you're some freakish bully who tried to hypnotize them to do your dirty work for you. No. When I was younger, their parents bullied me. Now I'm paying them back by having the children murder them. You're insane. You are a sick fuck. Now drop your weapons, or I swear I will pull this trigger. Give me just one reason, Townsend. You know what these children see right now? They see their worst nightmares. One, two, three.
still have you heard anything? Yeah? Oh, God. Okay. All right. Well, just let us know if you hear anything. Okay? Okay. All right. Thanks. Dave! Kelly! Dave! Dave. Oh, my God. What's going on? But where have you been? <laughs> I'm tired. Oh God, where have you been? We have been so worried about you. Just want to go to sleep. Get inside, get inside, Billy. Dave, where have you been? What is we? I, I don't, mean, who? I don't know. All I remember is I was following my friends after group therapy, and I just, I, I just fell asleep. I don't. So, you, so, I mean, after after we went to therapy, what? You can't remember anything? No, oh, I was just following my friends. And, can I please just go sleep? Yeah, yeah. Look, okay, all right. Yeah, look. I'm so glad you're back. Come on. Okay, let's let him go. Let him go. Oh, hey, David, come on. You go, let him get some rest. Okay, hey, all babe, right. Come on, why don't you go get some rest? We're going to talk in a little while, okay? Oh, my God, I'm so bad. We'll talk. I can't believe this. Hey. No, okay? Mrs. Best. Everything is not okay. What's what's going on? There's been more murders. The kids are missing. We can't find Townsend, and I don't I don't know what's going on. I just I just don't know what's going on. We just need to figure something out here, okay? Yeah. yeah. We just we're just very worried. Okay. okay. Kelly, you guys, I came over here to make sure Davey's okay. Mm -hmm. I saw his name in Townsend's appointment book, and that made me very concerned. Hmm. It turns out through our investigation that he was actually pretty psycho, Townsend. And really? growing up, he went by the name of Timmy Townsend. Hmm. Does that ring a bell? Oh, Timmy, yeah. Yeah. Like that, a tiny little kid that we went to school with. I think he was like a year younger than us. Yeah, that one we all bullied. But that can't be the same Townsend. Townsend's huge. He's one yeah, of Yeah, that was a little bitty kid. Yeah. Hmm. He must so have had a late growth spurt. That's crazy. Yeah, didn't I he? I mean, didn't he? kill his mom or something, that's why he he was gone? Everybody said that, but we just never heard anything else about it. Well, apparently he's hypnotized or has this, done something to the kids to make them want to start killing. Which Does is, he need to talk to? Yeah. You need to talk to this Miss Grady. She's okay. kind of strange, too. Yeah. yeah. I can get on that. Do you have a number or an address I can have? Yeah. You should have the number, um, shouldn't you? Yeah, I have it somewhere. Let me see. I think I, yeah, actually, I have it right here. Yeah. Here. yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you. I'm gonna get on that and just let you guys know if it's okay, I'm going, with everything's going on, I'm gonna place a cop car outside your house. Yeah, please. Yeah, that'd okay. be Just for a little bit, not very long, just yeah. maybe a few nights uh, till things settle down and we kind of get grasp on the situation. Right, I'm right. Good. I'm good with that. All right. Okay, so, I mean, if, are we safe here? Or? I would say I mean, yes. With our cop cars outside, you'll be safe. Right. Absolutely. Just keep an eye on Davey for mm -hmm. me and for you. Okay. And if you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us, okay? That's fine. We know how to get a hold of them. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Hey, um, I'm Lincoln. I'm the, I'm the intern um, from... I'm from Mr. Townsend's. Hey. Hey. hey! Yes, okay, where's Davey? I, I don't have any time to explain. Let me, he just, he just got Go, 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 get him, go get him, go get him! What's okay. going on? Come here, come here, come here, come here. I mean, he's upstairs. What, okay, what's... let me keep going. Hey, Mrs. Best, Mrs. Best, what are you doing? Mr. Townsend is a very bad man. What he does is he hypnotizes the children and he makes them do really bad stuff, okay? So we just have to go in there. We have to. <gasps> Davey! Davey! Stop! Stop. Stop. One, two, three, wake up! Davey. Are you okay? It was Townsend. Davey, what is going on with you? What is wrong? It was Townsend. What about Townsend? He did something. I remember. It was him. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on.
Hey, so look, you want to talk about what happened with you in town? Yeah, some of it's coming back to me. We were drinking juice and I spit mine out and pretended to fall asleep. When they all woke up, they were in some sort of trance with Dr. Townsend and he told them to kill their parents. <laughs> like they were their worst fears or something. And he said something about killing his mom when he was a kid because she bullied him for stuttering. That's crazy. It's even crazier what he, what he made those kids do. I know some of those kids are your friends too, so look, I'm really sorry about what all happened. After therapy, they said you would come and pick me up. So I followed the kids, and when they came out of their house, they had blood all over them. So I definitely thought they had to have killed someone. Yeah, well, according to the sheriff's department, they definitely killed their parents. Nobody in this town can even believe what happened. So, look, I know they were your friends, so again, I'm sorry, son. Yeah, except for those freaking twins. They probably did all the killing. I heard they had some serious issues, like they burned down their parents' house. Really? Yeah. Well, well, look, I don't want your mom over here is talking about all this, right? She's still worried about you. Especially with your nightmares. But according to the sheriff's department, towns and the kids are still out there, so we have to be careful. But the sheriff's got somebody outside, so you don't have anything to worry about, all right? Dad, I'm not worried. I'm going to get my friends back from Townsend. I know they wouldn't do this because he didn't, he made them. And I have a plan to get them back. And as far as my nightmares go, I'm gonna keep fighting them too. I know I'm stronger than those monsters. It's like you and mom always said, right? Light over dark. That's right, son. Look, I'm really proud of you, all right? Don't worry about anything. Hey. Hey, bud, doing some reading? I'm reading my favorite verses. Good. Well, you don't have to worry anymore. You're safe, okay? Yeah, everything's gonna be all right now. I feel normal now. Good. Okay. Well, we'll see you in the morning. Finish up your reading. Get some sleep, all right? Bye. 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 You too, buddy. Bye.
Try to break this man in me. Try to douse the flame. No, these chains won't spell my name. I'll be.
roll a... Wow. That is bizarre. I can't remember a murdering happening like that in a long time. Okay, I'm on my way. Yeah. So it needs to be like, ah, you can scream, I don't care, we can't yeah. hear you. Hey, yeah. the teeth is good. Yeah, perfect. But whatever oh, yeah. it is, remember you're looking right here. Right there when right you Right in do. the camera. All right, here we go. Uh, this is approaching the car, take two. Welcome home, soldier. Hey, it's good to be back. Hey, we thought it'd be nice. I was in a candy store eating all my favorite candies. <laughs> that figures. Did you read the book that you like, Willy, Willy Wonka? Just pause for a second. <laughs> all right, go ahead. <laughs> Very hard to do, huh? The only time y'all start laughing, keep I don't going, laugh. keep going. <laughs> I'm staying in character. No, no, you're good. Stop laughing. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Are we rolling still? Okay. What did you read like that, that book? Your favorite book, Willie and the Wonka. <laughs> Charlie Willie and the Wonka is Willy Wonka book. <laughs> Willy Wonka book. Okay, okay. Let's. Are we, are we going? Are you crying? I want to get the scene done. Let me guess. Um. Let me guess. Did you read that book? Come <laughs> <laughs> oh, on. <Lord. laughs> He's crying. <laughs> We need some. We need some of that.